Hello people, today I'm gonna show you how I did this kind of droplet effect on the screen, using Blender. Let us create a little scene first. I will add a plane, and put it under my cube. Then scale it up, like this. Now I will quickly add some more cubes. Using the array modifier. I will set this value to 1.02, to separate them a little. Then add more cubes. Now let's give us a little better lighting. I will go into the top view. And duplicate these lights with Alt D. Like this. Using Alt D to duplicate, allows you to change values of all your copies at once, instead of each one individually. My four lights are sharing the same values. Let's now move the camera. Go to view, and here select align active camera to view. Boom, let's render. Okay maybe I need more light. I will set this to 0.4. Again all my lights shares now a value of 0.4. It's better now. Let's center the camera a little. Okay. Now I will copy this, and put it on the top of this. Get rid of the array modifier. And maybe put it like this. I will copy this here, like this. And let's give it a new material. I will call this material, light. Set the diffuse value to the max. As well as the specular value, like this. And also set the emit value to the max. Select your second cube. Add a new material again. Select the light material here. Click here to set it as a single user, and call this material, light blue. Don't forget to click on a sign, and make it all blue please. So if I render my scene now, I got this. In order to see the light coming on the screen, I will use two spotlights, and put them in the exact same position, of my two light cubes. Press Shift S. Cursor to selected. And now add a spotlight. My spotlight is here. I want this spotlight to always face the camera. So add a track to constraint. Select the camera here. Select Y here, and minus Z here. Know the spotlight will always face the camera. Now I will copy the spotlight and place in the same position as the blue cube. Cursor to selected on the blue cube. Shift D on the spotlight. Selection to cursor. To get the effect, we will need to set up our lights. Select the first spotlight, and change some values here. 5.5 here. under the spot shape here, enter 90 degrees, and change the blend value here. Finally, check the halo box here. Now do the same for this one, and don't forget to give it a blue color. You are not forced to do the same thing. As long as the halo effect you will see is here. In this case, it's the key for this effect. I said don't forget to give it a blue color. This is what I have when rendered. For the compositing part. We will need a second render layer, displaying only, the two spotlights. Go into the render tab here. Layer. I will name the first layer, Cubes. This layer will render the whole scene. First, let's move the spotlights, in the second layer here. Don't forget to activate the two layers here. Ok, now add a second render layer. I will call it, Light. 
and here, instead of having everything rendered, select only the second layer, where the spotlights are. Also, you see this gray color here behind the light, just deactivate the sky box here, in the lights render layer. You only want the light. Now, as a little detail, I will just add a better background, in the first layer. Wait for me. BRB. Looks better now with this. We can now go into the node editor. Select composite here. Use nodes, and backdrop. Also add a viewer. Copy this render layer. Select light here, this is it. In order to go ahead, we will need a texture. I found mine on cgtextures.com. For free obviously. You can watch here. This is one of those. Add your image here, and find your texture. As you can see, it is not scaled by the size of the render. To correct his, add a distort. Scale node. And select render size, now it's OK. You want this to become black and white. Add a hue and saturation node, set the saturation to zero. Now you only want the stains to appear. Add a matte. Color key node. If you want C, check the alpha box here. And select a full white color here. Great uh? You can adjust the presence of stains, by playing with this value here. Let's now blur this a little, by adding a defocus node. You could use a simple blur node. But here let's use a defocus. Set this to a higher value, and deactivate the preview box, if you dare to. You can also watch for various effects here. I will choose pentagonal. I don't know why, I don't know if it's a realistic result or not. But it's my destiny. Now, you want to add this image, to the render layer. Add a mix node, and merge them together. Oh and by the way, Deactivate the alpha box here to see the real result. You get this all white result, so check this alpha box here. Now you want the stains to appear only where the lights are, not the whole screen. This is why we wanted this render layer here. This will be used as a vector, for our texture. How? Just by linking this image, to the factor here. As you will see it makes all the difference. Difference time, oh yeah. But it's not over yet. Maybe you would like to adjust the power of the effect. You can do this by adding a gamma node. Just right there. You can see the difference, by playing with this value here. But now something's wrong here. Although the light is blue, the stains remain white. We would like the stains to react with the light color. To do this, add another mix node. Link it to the stains image. And the light layer here. Node the color is added to the stains. You might not see it right now. But what about now, by setting this to the maximum? This image is less racist now. Now let's see the result, people. First you must change this, 
to add. And if you want more or less stain, you still can play with the gamma value here. Now, there is a last thing wrong. As you can see, the whole scene is made of light, not only our two spotlights here. So, the last thing to do, is to make the stains appear everywhere, for the rest of the lighting. So just add another mix node, check the alpha box, and link the render layer to the stains. And set this to a very low value. You just want to see that it's here. Now, our effect is over, and as you will see, it's obviously, linked to U3D. It stays where the lights are, whatever the light is. Or which color it is. Here is an animation of the scene. Imagine the result with moving lights, police cars lights, or a fire. Etc. You can enhance the result if you want, by adding a displace node, to see a deformation through the stains, etc. So, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and good night. Because I know this is at night where you are. Bye.